I found a way to not only increase FPS on Halo Infinite, but essentially reduce input latency as well and increase FPS on pretty much every single game and reduce input latency on every single other game as well. And uh, this was found by one of my mods. His name is uh, Bishop in uh, the Twitch chat. In my Twitch chat, you can see the link down below in the description. But he ended up finding this for me. And uh, obviously, a lot of you know about Accelerate's fix, upping FPS on Halo Infinite already where you essentially stop your cores from being parked. This is another fix. This is something we just found as well. So essentially, I wanna put a disclaimer out there real quick and just say, anyone who's got a laptop or like a computer that is going to need your power supply or your power to be managed and monitored at all times, I would refrain. Um, I am not responsible for anything that happens if you decide to go this route. I just wanna make that very clear, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I used to get 160 FPS on Live Fire, and those of you know Live Fire, it's probably like one of the lower FPS maps that we have, uh, maybe Forbidden, maybe a new one, but um, I'm getting 240 cap on Live Fire right now, 240 capped. Let's just get right to it, I don't wanna waste any more of your time. So here, here's what we're gonna do here, okay? Basically what this does is, it stops your power or your computer for from managing your power every 15 milliseconds. Instead, it waits five seconds to manage your power and just to check, to monitor, to make sure that your computer's not gonna explode. And like I said, if you've got a good power supply or if you've got a you know decent PC, this is not gonna be a problem for you at all. You don't really need to manage your power every 15 milliseconds. It just doesn't need to happen. So basically, I'm gonna put the link down in the description below. You're gonna go to this website and you're gonna go to this link right here. It's called you know, Mediafire, there's a link to it, blah, blah, blah. It's called Power Settings Explorer. And then once you download that, it will be in your download folder. Um, obviously, downloads here. Okay. And uh, when you get to your download folder, you double click it. You double click and open the Power Settings Explorer. And what you want to do is you want to scroll down to where it says Processor Performance Time Check Interval. And a lot of these things are based on your power management plan. Uh, for a lot of you, you know how to get to the high performance, uh, the ultimate performance power saver. It doesn't matter what plan you are, you're on. I mean, I would suggest going to the ultimate performance plan. You have to look that up on how to unlock that. But essentially, what you do is you set the AC value to 5,000. And what that does is it basically checks your PC every five seconds instead of every 15 milliseconds to make sure that the power is managed correctly and that nothing is going astray or awry. Now, after you're done setting the values to 5,000, what you gotta go down here and do is hit apply. And then once you apply, it will be good to go. You can leave this closed as well, and you're all set to go. Make sure that you tell your friends about this, okay? Share this around. This will work on not just Halo Infinite, but every game. I've gotten massive frames from this. Definitely works really well for me. I wanna know how it works for you, but like I said, if you're like on a limited power supply or limited power management type stuff, stay away from it, I would say. Uh, laptops, etc. low-end PCs maybe. Uh, I, would, I would just be careful. I am not responsible for anyone's PC that explodes and flies out the window. Um, but uh, if it does, please take a video. That would be really cool to watch. Anyway, uh, thank you so much for watching. Hit the sub button if this helped you. Hit the like button as well. And I will see you in the next video.